Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to build a keypad lock using a microcontroller and a 4x4 matrix keypad. To start off with this build, you're going to need an Arduino Uno or any other model, a standard or mini servo, a 4x4 keypad module, I chose this more expensive one, but a cheap one like this would work. And you also need some kind of power source to power the Arduino board. Then you can add two LEDs with a resistor, one red and one green, and a buzzer for the notification lights and sounds. Make sure to prototype your circuit with the breadboard and jumper wires following this schematic provided by jlaservideo.com. You can see where each pin goes, and the numbers represent the output digital pins of the Arduino. Then install the library and software also provided and extract the files from it. Then open your Arduino programmer software, click on sketch and hover over include library. Scroll down until you see the keypad library, but if you don't then go to add zip file. Go to your downloads, click the keypad library file and then open the file and make sure it's titled keypad.zip. Now you can add the code provided in the description box and create your own 3 digit password. To add the buzzer, you're going to need to connect the positive terminal to pin 10 because it's not a part of JLaser Video schematic. Then connect the board to your USB port and upload your sketch and make sure everything is working the way it should be. If all goes well then it should look somewhat like this. The buzzer and the green light will indicate that it has been unlocked and the servo should turn 90 degrees. Pressing A or star will reset it. Now solder wires to all components to prepare to house everything in a box. Make sure everything is still working after. Then extend your servo wire so it can reach the lock from the Arduino. For the power source I was going to use a 9 volt battery but replacing it would be a pain. So I use a USB cable and solder the black wire to ground and the red to the VIN pin of the Arduino. And finally you can start to put everything together in your box and cut out necessary holes and marks so that everything fits. I cut out a slit for the keypad wires to go through, two holes for the LEDs and you can add another hole for an optional on off switch. Make sure to wipe off all marks and clean the outside with some isopropyl alcohol. Then install the LEDs, switch and keypad on the faceplate of the box. Now house everything in your box carefully so that no connections will short or fall apart. This is the most time consuming part for me because there are a few trial and errors throughout this process. Then I secured my box using screws to drill from the inside and installing it next to the door of my garage. After that I ran wires through the side of the garage door Install the servo on the button of the garage opener so that the servo will push the button when the password is put in. You can also use the servo to unlock a door, like Jay Laser Video did in his Arduino lock project. My project was inspired by his door lock and I thank him for many other inspirations for my projects. This project was by far one of my favorites and if you have any questions like how to get started with Arduino, please comment below and all the links for the software and schematics will be provided in the description box below. If you like this video, be sure to check out my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.